remember it was uh, a beautiful uh, sunny day. It was uh, it was Easter Monday, um, and uh, we uh, again you're right. We're playing Melbourne, and um, the game was sort of progressing. It was quite a close game, I remember, and um, got to just after uh, after three or after half time. I was in the third quarter, and um, really innocuous, mate. To be honest, I, I remember. Um, running up and uh, going to take a mark. I remember Ronnie Burns uh, kicked it to me. Um, I went up, took the mark, came down, didn't feel pain immediately. I, I, and, and if you see the footage, I, I stand up straight away because um, I remember Ronnie wasn't too far away. I wanted to get the handball off to him. And then suddenly the pain kicked in um, and it was this, it was this warm, uh, warm type of pain that uh, sort of shot through my body and I looked down and uh, I could see the bottom of my uh, boot uh, facing the wrong way um, and I could see that the bone was sticking out in my sock. Um, so I knew I was in a bit of trouble at that stage. <laughs> so I lay down and yelled out for support um, and uh, the bench obviously knew what was going on and, and I remember Gary Hocking running over um, and sort of holding my head because he didn't want me to look down because apparently there's a bit of blood and a few things. I, I didn't actually see the blood at all, but I knew that I was in a fair bit of trouble. Um, so, yeah, that's the recovery process. Look, it, it, it began immediately. So I came off the ground, um, went straight to hospital, um, had two operations within 24 hours to basically uh, stick everything back together. It was, a, it was a dislocated ankle and broken leg, obviously. So they had to repair the joint and, and get the, uh, the leg back together. And... Um, over the next 12 months or 18 months it was, I had, uh, had seven operations and um, it just got to a point where uh, the ankle wasn't getting any better and I, I literally couldn't, couldn't walk from the lounge room to the bedroom at night um, because I was in so much pain. So, um, you know, there was probably a couple of times throughout that period that I thought, you know, maybe I can get back here. Um, but uh, given, you know, every time I got close, I just had a, another setback. The pain would set back in, and I just couldn't push the uh, the ankle joint any further. So, um, you know, it was uh, it was an 18 months of a real hard slog. You know, trying to get back and strengthen the leg and do all that sort of stuff. To at the end of the day, get to a point where the ankle and the body just couldn't handle it. So, um, I uh, I had to go in for a uh, an ankle fusion where they stuck it all together. I get um, I get sore. Um, you know, the ankle, as I said, has been fused, so there's no ankle joint there, so my ankle doesn't bend at all, so I can't go for a, a 2K run or a 5K run or the like. I can I can uh, do little things, like I can play a bit of tennis and I can play I play a bit of cricket with a few mates as well in, uh, in Yarraville. So uh, I, do, um, I do little bits and pieces, but I get really sore afterwards. Um, you know, I can't stand up for long periods of time and, and the like because it does... Uh, it swells, it just gets a bit sore. So I can manage it, but you know, day to day I don't I don't sort of notice too much anymore.